this is Jace with Cell Graphics or Cell Gifts, however you want to say it. Today we are going to be working in Photoshop. I have undone my drawing pad for the tutorial for the day. Now, make sure you're in yeah, Essentials. When you see me drawing with the drawing pad, normally I'm in this right here, which is painting. But go to Essentials. Yours might look a little bit different because I've taken out a lot of options up here at the top. <clears throat> Things that I didn't need. Alright, so we're going to start a new one. It's going to be 800 by 800. Um, make sure you have RGB colors. If you go with grayscale, everything you do is either going to be black or gray or white. I mean, you don't really have no color options. So make sure you got it on RGB color. Now, the background, we're, I'm just going to leave mine white. You can set it up as the background colors, which is this right here. Or you can set it up as transparent. Or you can even click advanced. But I'm going to go with white. Oh, look at that beautiful white background. Alright, now there's two ways to form up your layers. First of all, you can click layers at the very top. Go to new. And select layer. Now you can select it from background. Or you can select layer or layer via copy. Basically it's control J on your keyboard. Now after you got this I just leave mine like that. Now with this this can also be controlled over there on the side. It's how basically how much you want this picture on top to be see-throughish or if you don't want it to be. Alright the second way to form up a layer is over here. You have channels, path, layers. Make sure layers is selected. Okay. Second way to do this, well there's actually three, technically. Alright, let's say I draw a line, let's bring the hardness down to like thirty five, size of it at forty. It might help if I actually use a color that's not white on a white background. Okay. Now, it's just something simple. There we go. Alright. Now with this, if you click on the layer and click on your keyboard, Control J. Sorry, I do not know the functions for Mac. See how dark that line's getting in all them copies? Well, let's say that you want it to stay that dark select the top layer go scroll down select the bottom layer do not select the background just select the image that you want to stay dark now on your windows hit control E that will form them all into one layer that's that dark yay we did it okay now just take that I'm just going to take it and drag it down here throw it away don't need it no more okay now over here is the other way to start up a layer. Right here beside your garbage can, see you have your effects, your mapping, gradients, folders, which folders are create a group. See? You can ungroup the layers, you can delete the group, you can duplicate the group, which will make the exact same layers that you have in this group in another group. But since we have a little group thing, we'll go ahead and make a layer into the group. Inside the garbage can, you see this little square with another little square inside of it. Click it. That is how you form a new layer the simple way without having to go through all this. Yay, right? Okay. Let's ungroup the layers and it would take every single layer out of the group folder. Now if you're working on a major project and you have grouped everything, it would not be a good idea to do that. Because then you get to sit there and drag everything around. How much fun would that be, spending hours dragging around your hard earned work? Okay. Now, let's just create four layers. You can drag these around and anywhere that you want them to be. I'm going to show you a few tricks. Tricks of the trade. Let's take a red line. Okay. Now let's duplicate this red line. 
Now, on the layer underneath the red line, the first red line, go to adjustments, go to black and white, and click OK. Let's see? Now, the way to show a layer and not show a layer is the little I button. Works wonders. To lock a layer, just click on the lock button to unlock it. If you lock a layer, you cannot edit it. You cannot do nothing to that layer. See? Could not use the brush tool because the layer is locked. That would be nice for if you're doing a design and you accidentally switch over. You know, have the, like in my, with me, the outline of my anime characters or anything that I'm drawing is always on a locked layer so I do not mess it up. Okay, let's unlock that. Now let's go back up here with this. Now over here you see all of these nice little options. You can lighten it. But overlay. See, without the layer underneath it, you will not see the overlay. Overlay takes this nice little bright red and turns it into a bloody looking color. That's a tip for all you people that like to make blood looking colors. Don't sit there and just have your blood looking like that. That looks fake, sloppy. Ugh. Who wants that kind of blood? <laughs> Anyway, there's other things you could do with the layer. You have video layers, a layer mask. Now, merging down. If you click the merge down, it merges the layer and the layer under it. Make sure you remember that that's port important. See, and now if you go to merge visible, it takes every single layer from the layer you're on and merges them all the way down to the background. See, now we're on the background. Yay. But anyway, I hope this helped you out. And yeah, please rate, comment, and subscribe. If you would like any more tutorials on different things, then shoot me a comment below. Or send me a message. Well, this has been Jace with Cell Graphics. I'll be making more tutorials soon, so peace out.